Welcome to Grenada, the Caribbean island known for its spices. Today we're going to take you with us on a culinary and sightseeing tour of this small island. From the breathtakingly beautiful natural landscapes to the rich and diverse local culture, we hope to show you some of the amazing things Grenada has to offer. This morning we went to this local place for breakfast and it was delicious. We had fried bakes with salt fish and then we had chicken and we had a uh, cherry bread. Yeah, it was delicious. We still have a piece we can save for later. Yeah, we're gonna go to a chocolate factory later. We're going to, yeah, we're going through all of St. George. Right now we're in St. Peter, I think. We just crossed- St. Andrew? Andrews? Or no, St. Andrew. I think we're in St. Andrew. We just crossed into St. Andrew. So we're gonna be going back to St. George. Yeah, that's that's all <laughs> that's all I got for now. I wanna say about the fried chicken, they put nutmeg. I was trying to figure out what the flavor was, but it's nutmeg, which is very interesting. It gives it like a like a earthy flavor, I guess that's the best way to describe it. I may have to try I rarely make fried chicken, but if I ever do, I will try to put some nutmeg in it. The carrots. Carrots? Yeah, so the Arawaks or Amarindians. Okay. These were the original people here before you know, the French came in, then the English eventually came in as well. Okay. So, so Grenada was colonized twice? Yes, but oh. France and England. Okay. We're at Grenada Distilleries, and we're about to taste some different local rums. And like flavored rums, and it like goes to, I think someone said it's like one that's like, what, a hundred and something proof as well, so. Yeah. All these awards. Look at this. Hmm? It's first class, master class, world class, right? Is that the order? I don't know. Display case or All right? What is this like? Will you put your rum on display or? Yeah, that's this for display. Mm -hmm. Cool. Distillery. Mm -hmm. So this is a small modern. Oh. Uh, and this was built by one of our members of staff. Okay. Yeah. How does it work? Well, you have the um, we prepare the wash. Mm -hmm. What we call the wash because we make the rum from molasses. Oh, uh, okay. You know? So we make the wash. And then the wash goes into something like one of these, right? Where it's fermented, it goes into that, and then it's processed through this. So you have the different columns, um. right? So the wash goes into the columns, it's boiled and so on, mm -hmm. and then it goes up and you get the final thing with the rum coming up there. So know, there's multiple it. of these? Huh? There's more than one? Oh, well, that's it. Oh, okay. On a small scale. What you would see is bigger. Oh, <laughs> that's strong. Damn. <laughs> and money's worth there. Good. This is the mojito flavor. Ooh, that's stronger. <laughs> oh, it tastes like, it smells like toothpaste. <laughs> is that the sobrero? Sobrero? I don't like that. Yeah, that's <laughs> <a little bit. laughs> 
That's the norm. <laughs> this is the Lewis's fortune. Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> He's 50 years old and he came from Philippines. If you go in uh, these Asian countries, you're going to see this rainbow you can just this right here, it doesn't really have so much any fruit on it because I think someone picked it recently. But there's a tiny one right here. Do you guys yeah. know what this is? This is actually the national tree of Barbados. Okay, here I got some. I want you guys to smell this. Um, you tell me what it is. Because it like it's also part of the mint family. All right, so this you can use it as a seasoning for your food, your meats, your fish. Yes, mm -hmm. you can cook. You can cook with it. And uh, on the island, it's mostly used as a medicine. Mm -hmm. So during the time of COVID, a lot of people use this together with the lemongrass. Mm -hmm. yeah, and it helped, you know, very well for COVID because on the island, when you have cold, people also use it for cold. Like, yeah. yeah. So when you drink, it, when you drink it after boiling it, it's going to help clear your sinuses, and it's very good for that. So some people also use it together with um, something we call ven ven or ve vein right mm -hmm. yes that grows on the island as well as a weed in the wild mm -hmm. people use that for covid during the pandemic then right behind us is um oh. but it was bigger okay yes this is a very tiny it gets up to the size of like my clinch fist like that <laughs> yeah there's gonna be a test in the end <laughs> <laughs> These houses that you see over there are still under the parish of St. George's. And from where you see the shadow ends over there, it's a different parish. That's the parish of St. David's. So that's the eastern parish. That's where you have some of the wealthiest people on the island. Wester Hall, old Wester Hall, new Wester Hall for Judy, La Feuille Blue, Hope Estates. That's where some of these wealthy people live on the island because they have the view of the Atlantic and some private jetties as well with all the boats and yachts. Very nice on that side. fortification in St. George's and you might be wondering why all of these that's because back then a lot of people wanted to claim different territories as I said previously the French and the English fought for Grenada for 90 years pirates would also invade the France to rob the people of what they had that's why they built all of these to protect the place these in other islands along the gate hit by hurricanes will bring their boats this way where it's safer and after the hurricane sees it they're just going to take them back to where they came from over there is Fort George that belongs in there and that's downtown St. George's, that's the capital city of Grenada over there. So we have one stop there when we come back from the rainforest. And this same tree you're going to find all over Grenada. Can you okay. see anyone? Yeah, see I see. No, I don't see any. It's anyone? all the way to the left. Uh -huh. Right, that's the breakthrough. The breakthrough is a very first time. Sean's getting our tickets. It's 5 US, right? Yeah, 5 US. 5 US. Or EC? Yeah, 10 EC. 10 EC. Mm -hmm. It's not doing very well. Oh, it's like a wow, disease that affects it. And this is a palm tree, oh. a Rika palm, or some people call it the Christmas palm. And it's just a decorated palm tree that people have in the yard. So like this part plastic. is where you get your nutmeg syrup, your nutmeg jam mm -hmm. and nutmeg jelly mm -hmm. comes from this fleshy part, the pericarp mm -hmm. or the nutmeg part, all right? So nothing goes to waste from the nutmeg. I'm just going to throw this away. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> so that one, to get to the actual nuts, you have to crack this shell right here. And then you get to the nutmeg that you normally grate. Mm. Right, so it's inside of this shell. So if the nutmeg stays in this shell, it's going to last for 10 years before it begins to biodegrade. Wow. But once it's out of the shell, it's going to take two years before it biodegrades. All right? Yeah, so it's a very powerful spices and fruit that you see right here. The shell, you can use it for your flowers garden or your driveway in your yard. We normally say it's the pro man's burglar alarm because when you mm. have it in your yard, when someone steps on it, you're going to hear the crunch. That's, that tells you that someone is coming <laughs> in your yard. All right, so nothing goes to waste. The cosmetic industry, pharmaceutical industry, they use the mace and the ashram nutmeg for different products. It has a nice aroma, the mace, just like the nutmeg inside of it, but it's like a milder aroma compared to the nutmeg. So Toga gave us this fruit. It's called a French cashew. We're going to try it. Sorry, kitty. I got it from that tree over there. Mmm. Yeah, you can it. I just figured out the tree. It tastes like a Granny Smith apple. Right. <laughs> it like an apple. Interesting. Okay. Oh, it's tough. <laughs> yeah. It's tough. A little sour, but. It tastes like oh, a Granny yeah. Smith. Yeah. I love Granny Smith apples. We're making a little pit stop. Uh, we're supposed to see monkeys here, but the monkeys haven't been around for three days, so we're probably not going to see them. Our tour guide is currently trying to uh, coax them in with bananas, so <laughs> we'll see if we can get any, but probably not. Uh, just got a couple of little tourist knickknacks. So that mountain over there is Mount Kwa Kwa. There's a tray that goes out all, to the, all the way to the top of Mount Kwa Kwa. And it will take you about two hours to get to the top of it. Because it's the rainforest is always muddy in the especially in the wet season when it's rains and sometimes you can fall on your way to the top of Mount uh, Kwakwa. And this is called Lake Granitang Lake. Granitang yeah. Lake. So Granitang actually means large pond in French, right? Yeah, I saw the fish looking at it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that, look, they're all coming. Yeah. There's some koi, some carps. So these and koi don't end up on the other side of the island seven days later. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cool. So these ones that look like the water are the Mozambique tilapia, they're not so visible. The pretty ones, like the orange color ones, you won't see so many of them. That's because even though it's a no fishing lake, locals come here to steal them. Mm. And they sell them to, but in St. George's, the people who have like aquariums and fish and ponds. A mm. small one like my pinky would go for like, Cost a hundred EC dollars. So they're very expensive, that's why they steal them. Yeah, get in get the net. <laughs> oh here the cats come. Crater yeah. Lake fall from, from a dormant volcano. Ooh. And it goes it's connected to a active submarine volcano between Grenada and Karakou. It's called Kikem Jenny. Right. When Kikem Jenny gets rocked, you can come here, you're gonna go through the bubble. See that? Oh, Those yeah. are gonna turn into Coca-Pod, and then it goes oh. all the way to the top and all of the branches. This tree is usually a snake on this tree. Uh -huh. In the dry season, but I don't think it's here right now. The next stop is House of Chocolate Grenada. Let's go. Any roots? Oh, Barbados. On the other side, the tree is placed, cut and place there. It grows 13 to 18 feet tall and natural after five years. Once it matures and start producing a dust and stuff, then Grenada we get cocoa all year round. Mm -hmm. right. Three types of cocoa, the forest the Criollo, and the Trinitarium. The Trinitarium is a hybrid version that was done in Trinidad in the 1700s. We intercrop the cocoa trees with fruit trees. So when you suck on the pot or the seed, you get the flavor of the tree close by. So if it's an apple tree, you get apple flavor. If it's mango, you get mango flavor. Whatever tree is close to the cocoa, when you suck on it, you get that flavor. We take the beans out, we put them in large wooden boxes, and we cover them airtight. And the chart show you at the top. The temperature will build, and the pulp will dissolve into a liquid. That's when the seed itself drinks 
the nutrients. So it's all coming, commenting. So to make sure of it now, you remove so you can remove the shell easily. And what is here is called a cocoa nib. It has 40 to 50 percent butter and 60 percent powder. Okay. Um, so you can take a nut, not too much muscle, and take the. He's a gym man, so he you probably have all the muscle. I broke it up. For you to eat, tell me what you taste. You put the shell. Put the sugar in there. Like the, like, I know it's not. Okay. Yeah. It's like a, it's not an almond, but like, I can taste the cocoa. I hold up. It's a hundred percent. So you just ground this up? Yes. Oh Lord. <laughs> What smell? Mm. Ah. It's definitely a chocolate. Mm -hmm. But it's chocolate without all the sugar. No. Yeah. No, the, the companies were grind for 16 hours because they have to a liquid for chocolate. Eh? The machines are big and heavy and hot. So more they grind, the smoother it gets. We add soy lecithin, cane sugar, and vanilla bean to the chocolate. So in mm -hmm. half an hour, that's it. Wow. So that's Valentine's Day, brother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't go wrong with that. And it's natural because it's not from the pharmacy. Right. <laughs> so when you drink this and you rub here, you have double impact on the skin. Mm -hmm. Inside and outside. Mm -hmm. And then it treats it better because we add spices to the tea as we grind. Mace, nutmeg, clove that detox the, in the inner organs. Mm. So in Grenada, we believe in making you look beautiful mm. from the inside out. Mm. The more you drink this, is the more you keep the doctors away. Mm. Because <laughs> this prevents Alzheimer's. Mm. Uh -huh. This has a bee pollen. He put mango flavor. Mm. Bee pollen is added in mango flavor. He also has a ginger flavor. I tasted earlier on, it's really fantastic. Okay, what are you tasting? 60% cocoa content, Taste chocolate, it. from Grenada. It's sweet. I'm like, what we just had was pretty good. It's, it's dark chocolate, 60%, 75%, 100%. This is 60% again. Crispy cocoa nibs and 60% chocolate. It's different. It's got a little bit more kick to it. It's good. The tree, like the cacao, the cocoa tree. It's cool. It actually comes from Mexico. And that's about all I know. <laughs> They don't look like you use plastic somehow. How is it? It's good. It's good. It's better than the ones I get from the bottle. Oh. When mom tries to eat coconut jelly, we can't ask her anything. She'll go. She'll keep eating. You can't tell her nothing when she's eating coconut jelly. <laughs> I feel that way right now. I feel like. You have to fight me to get off this coconut jelly. Uh, chicken roti. Oh, that was bad. Mmm. Mmm, good. Chicken is cooked inside. Fried plantain, steamed veg, uh, pumpkin, potato. So, um, try it and let me know. There's coastal here as well. I don't know what they're putting in that roast, but it's like 
Okay, taste this. Mm. Yummy. That's it for our culinary and sightseeing tour of Grenada. We hope you enjoyed exploring this beautiful island with us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more travel videos like this one. Thanks for watching.